Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. It is Kevin here and it has been a while since I've uploaded a video. But my name is Kevin if you're new here or just you forgot who I am. And I am a writer on the path to becoming traditionally published. And that's about it. I stupidly said in my last video that I was going to record videos in the middle of my move. I don't know what was wrong with me. What was I thinking? You know, like, what was I thinking? First of all, one of the videos fell through because I just, it's a long story, it fell through, and then the other video was going to be a writing vlog, and it's just like, when did I think I was going to have time to write? You know, like, when? I, yeah, so a lot has happened since then. I've gotten this haircut that I do not like, but it'll grow back as just hair. And uh, we moved. If you haven't, if you didn't know that was gonna happen, you can go watch my last video. And uh, yeah, got a new car. So a lot's happened. Not a, new to us, not a new car, new to us. A lot's happened since my last video. And that is stuff that I'll just like slowly catch you up on over time. Like there's not really a good spot for me to record right now in the apartment because we're still setting everything up. You know, we had to like buy some stuff, like a new shelf and yeah. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, I'm excited to show you all that stuff over time, but for now, this is where we're at. Writing, that's why you're here, right? You wanna know what's going on in my writing life. Okay, I didn't make any videos because I didn't write anything. Like, I, I, I don't know how I thought I was gonna have time in the middle of a move, like an interstate move, to write at all, but I was thinking a lot about my writing and brainstorming my writing a lot. I wanna get back to writing because I haven't in like two weeks. <gasps> oh, I gotta be careful. I haven't written in like two weeks and I want to get back to writing. I want to get back. But okay, one of the reasons why also is if you're watching me and you somehow don't know who Lizelle Sanberry is, uh, you need to know who she is. Every time I watch one of her videos, I get so inspired. She just is like, I don't even know what it is. She's not even like, I don't know if she's going out of her way to be inspiring. I don't think she is, but like every time I watch her video and she just like talks about her writing, I'm just like, okay, yeah, I need to write too. Because she's just so good. I don't know. Like, I don't know. When she does like the videos where, uh, she just did a video the other day, I don't remember which one it was exactly, if I can remember I'll link it, but she was like talking about how, oh it was redoing her adult horror. She's like, I need to do the synopsis and like that's a trick that I learned from her is to write a full synopsis for every book to look for plot holes beforehand and I did that for the middle grade. And as much as like writing synopsis kind of sucks, I don't know, I, I, it does kind of suck, but I do see the appeal of it and I do want to keep doing that going forward. The middle grade, I'm still waiting to get back um, from an agent and I am going to, for now, I think work on the fantasy book that I said has four points of view, uh, but I want to write a synopsis for, so it's a little weird, because I want to write a synopsis for each character, but I also want to write an overall synopsis for the whole story, if that makes sense. Um, not maybe a synopsis for each character, but like their arc. I want to figure that out and make sure I have that actually down pat. The first point of view is done. The second is like, it's not done. It's not even close to being done. I, yeah, I don't know. I need to jump in and get, get started on that. But I also have another idea, another um, fantasy idea, which is one I've been toying with. Like, okay, so the four, four point of view um, fantasy book, I want to do a whole video on at some point. We're going to talk more about it, what's going on with that. Um, this It's just kind of like a fun side project I've been working on. Uh, just, I don't really talk about it because it is just a fun side project. But I have the fantasy book idea that, the adult fantasy book idea that has been an idea that I've had for years, and I've kind of here and there, I started it for one of the camp, na I'm for, for NaNoWriMo, and I think I got like 8,000 words or 7,000 words, and I'm always thinking about this idea, always, always, always. And I have like tons of notes on it, uh, I started a plot bible, and plot bible, book bible, book bible, I don't know the right word I'm looking for, but I love this story so much and I really want to work on the synopsis for it, I think. Um, I'm hoping that it'll help me pick out any like plot holes um, along the way, so we'll see. But <laughs> here's a caveat, the other day I was also driving and I was talking to Damien and like this new plot bunny, popped up in my head about this YA contemporary book that I think could be interesting, but I'm kind of struggling because I am feeling myself pulled more towards fantasy things. And this is something I've struggled with because I've talked about this on my channel. I do have two YA contemporary books out on sub and one um, contemporary fantasy book out on sub, uh, YA contemporary fantasy book out on sub. And my middle grade is also a middle grade uh, contemporary fantasy, but I have ideas for full on fantasy books. I have more ideas for YA contemporary. Like I kind of um, don't know my niche yet and that's something I'm kind of struggling with. Like 
um, I feel like so many people know like what kind like what kind of books they want to write and like like that's like their um, brand and I don't know what my brand is as a writer so that might be something I need to make a whole video about and talk about yeah because I know that even like traditional publishing self-publishing like they always say to like pick you know your brand and I don't know what my brand is so somebody has a way that can help me figure that out because I like I just want to write so many things I want to write contemporaries I want to write fantasy I don't know maybe I should do a whole video on that but that's not for today. So, I think I'm going to work on the synopsis for the four point of view fantasy so I can try and get that because I am really excited to write it. It is just a fun project. Like, I don't know if it'll go anywhere. I hope it does, but you know, it's whatever. But I want to get the synopsis done so that way I can see any plot holes and actually get started because as much as I love it, uh, I am finding myself getting stuck at certain points because I work better after I plotted. And when I watched, um, when I did the synopsis that Lazelle like, does, it like not only is like plot it's like a super plot like it helps you like get everything all the all the pieces in motion okay i've been talking for almost seven minutes so this clip is way too long i apologize but i felt like i needed to give you a big chunk um for me being back um and what's been going on and a quick catch up of what's going on uh yeah no news on any of my sub stuff and yeah let's let's get started on the writing and you can just ignore like we have see look like we're still moving in we still have a, we have a tv propped up on, on two stools so yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get dragged and you're gonna- Oh, I can't. I fell. You're gonna follow me. Okay. Let's ride. I have to be quick because my camera is dying. But it is actually now the next day. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm a disgusting garbage human. But it is what it is. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt as I wore yesterday. And today I did write. Uh, I started the synopsis for the- the four point of view fantasy book which i don't have like a title for i guess i could just call it like i don't know, i'll think of something later but i want this to be quick um as you can see we do not have a couch because we're waiting on it to be delivered it's gonna be weeks before it's here so it's super awesome i'm sitting on the floor something i hate to admit is that i do work better not in bed because i love being in bed right like bed is like being in bed is comfortable i like lying down i like taking naps I like my bed. I used to get a lot of work done in bed and now I can't anymore. I have to like, I don't know. I mean, not that I can't, but like, I just got a lot of work done in here today. Oh my gosh, it's, it's flashing. Okay, so really quick, what did I get done? I got about a thousand words written of the synopsis so far. I'm like almost done with act one, almost. And so I'm feeling really good uh, about where I'm at and where it's going. Um, I'm only like struggling a tiny bit, but mostly just because I, I I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I just got like kind of like a roadblock type situation. But um, yeah, I'm feeling good about what I've gotten done. Damien and I today, uh, we watched The Woman in the Window, which was very weird. Um, the red herrings definitely got me. Did not end how I thought it was going to end. It was very strange, very strange movies, very strange editing. So that's all I did today. So I did that. Oh, we, uh, went, we donated some stuff too. So yeah, 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 yeah. Ow, I just accidentally ripped off a scab. So I'm gonna go before this battery dies and we'll catch back up tomorrow and I can do like more of an actual update. Okay, 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 but I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm writing. Ah, you should write too. It is the next day and I know last night was a little chaotic with what I was saying because I was trying to get my words out before my camera died. But basically, yesterday I got, sorry, yesterday I got done uh, about a thousand words of my outline. Um, not outline, but like synopsis for one of the points of view. It's still interesting because the, the I have to do a synopsis for like the whole book um, and then each section has to have like their own little synopsis. So that's what I'm doing is I'm doing the synopsis for one of the points of view. And I was a little worried because I was thinking about it. I only wrote a thousand words of it last night or yesterday. And um, I was thinking like, is that too short, right? Uh, because that means at this rate, the synopsis for that section will only be like 4,000 words. But then I realized something that that's only one of the four sections. If I do this for all, it's gonna end up being like 16,000 at that rate, which I think is pretty good. I mean, I think that's pretty good. So uh, I am going to start writing again. It's 4 p.m. today. Um, I've not done anything yet, but I have this week off work. So uh, while we're waiting for stuff to come in for the apartment, like the couch, and it's like, which actually I don't think it's gonna come in for a couple weeks, or like a bookshelf and stuff. I, I don't know, I just wanted some time to like, relax and like you know relax after the move because it was very stressful <laughs> so i took an extra week off so i'm hoping to get a lot of writing done this week it is already tuesday 
I've gotten some done yesterday though, so. I'm gonna go ahead and write, I hope that you can't hear the fan that's on behind me, I just realized it might be blowing into the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, get going, get continue going on the outline and see where I can get to. I'm feeling really good. Think though that I want to read one of the fantasy writing, writing craft books that I have. I have two and I got them right before we moved so I haven't had a chance to read them yet. So I think that I actually want to read one of those and continue um, writing the synopsis. So that way when it comes to actually writing of this section, um, this fourth of the book, that I'll have some knowledge of certain things. Like like the, um, the character's going to a castle and I was like, how much this castle do I need to describe? I don't really know a lot about medieval castles and I know that Lindsay Puckett, she's actually did a video on like reviewing these um, books and it's the reason why I bought one of them. And she said that it, it has some good information on like medieval castles and stuff. So I want to read at least that section since uh, once I'm done with the synopsis, the next scene that I'm writing, he's going into a castle. So yeah, okay. I have no idea of anything about medieval castles. So I'm gonna get started writing and here's my cat. Alfalfa. Hey buddy. Hello everybody, it is a couple days later. I'm actually closing out the vlog now. Uh, I did not write the last couple days, mainly just because I didn't feel like it. Uh, you know, sometimes you go through those slumps and I just didn't feel like it. And I know I should have like maybe pushed myself through it, but I think we're allowed to take breaks as writers. So that's what I did, I took a break uh, and I did not write. I did start reading one of the craft books. I'm not gonna talk about it yet because I have some mixed feelings based on who wrote it versus the content that's inside of it. So yeah, I have some weird feelings about the book. So I don't wanna talk about it yet because I, I'm not that far in either. Um, but I did start reading that so I can know some medieval things better because like I said, it talks about castles and stuff and I don't know what I'm doing with that kind of stuff. So basically for the week I got done, I think I'm at like 3,000 words actually because that one day, one last clip when I did start writing, I came up with some fun and game stuff that um, I really liked and so I just started going and like I was in the groove of writing so I ended up writing like 2,000 words. So I think I'm sitting at like right below 3,000 or right at 3,000 and I'm excited. I, it makes me nervous that like the whole entire synopsis for all four parts is going to be really high which isn't necessarily a bad thing but I'm only aiming for about 100,000 words for the book um, because that's just like the sweet spot I feel like for fantasy and for, well not necessarily fantasy, you can go over 100,000 words, but like it's the first one I've written in it like in, in entirety and the each point of view I wanted to be about 25,000 words. If you think about it, it's kind of like the first point of view is act one and the middle two are act two, which is longer, should be, you know, and then the last one is act three. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. So I'm a little worried that's gonna end up being super long. That's something I can worry about later though. Um, I am gonna close up this vlog now though. So next week I'm going to be working more on the synopsis and I know I'll finish it in this next week cause I don't have much left. Uh, I mean, I'm at the fun and game section. So like, um, yeah, but I don't think I have a lot left and I'm really liking where it's going. So like I, once I get in the groove of it, I just wasn't in the mood to write to be honest, but um, once I get in the groove of it, I know I can give, I can bang it out quickly. So I'm gonna start writing the section next week. So yeah, I, I might have the middle grade back next week. I emailed my agent about it. Um, I might have that back next week. So next week's might be working on the middle grade. It might be more of the fantasy. We'll see, we'll see. So make sure you, you know, tune back in for next week. So yeah, okay. Thank you for watching everybody. I know it's been a little crazy. I've been gone, but I'm back now that we're moved in. Um, and I'll be making videos again. So yeah, okay. Thank you. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button below. If you love the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And I will see you all.